Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to present the paper Trajectory Distribution Control for Model Predictive Path Integral Control using Covariance Theory. First, I'll briefly introduce the Model Predictive Path Integral, or MPPI, and the existing problems with this controller. Then, I will talk about the proposed Covariance Controlled Model Predictive Path Integral, or CCMPPI, and how it improves upon the MPPI controller. Let's take a look at the MPPI controller first. This controller solves the following problem. The MPPI injects some Gaussian noise epsilon and samples a significant number of simulated trajectories. Using the path integral theory, the MPPI finds optimal control sequences by taking the weighted average over the sample trajectories. In the figure on the right, the optimal green trajectory is generated based on the black sample trajectories. There are some problems with the MPPI controller. If you inject a large Gaussian noise, much computational power will be wasted in infeasible regions. While if you inject a relatively small noise, the feasible region is not explored well enough to generate an optimal trajectory. The proposed CCM PPI can alleviate the situation. The CCM PPI as a terminal, as a covariance constraint to the terminal state of the prediction horizon. While the MPPI has a fixed trajectory sampling distribution, the CCM PPI's sampling distribution is more flexible. The idea of CCM PPI is to utilize covariance theory to produce a closed loop system and let MPPI to sample trajectories with a closed loop system instead of an open loop system. As a comparison, the CCM PPI is able to concentrate its sampling distribution inside the feasible region, thus increasing the sampling efficiency. In this simulation example, we put an obstacle in front of the vehicle. The MPPI runs into a local optimum and leads to collision. The CCM PPI can find an optimal solution to go around this obstacle. We also run the vehicles with both controllers in a cluttered environment. By tuning the cost for rewarding collision avoidance and the cost for rewarding fast speeds, we perform a grid search and compare the two controllers. From the plot on the right, one can tell that the red trajectories produced by the CCM PPI show a much more aggressive driving maneuver than the green trajectories generated by the MPPI. As demonstrated by the scatter plot, the CCM PPI controller can achieve smaller lap times with fewer collisions. Let's now summarize and generalize a little bit the proposed CCM PPI controller architecture. The proposed controller uses a closed loop system which fulfills certain constraints, such as terminal state constraints, to sample trajectories for MPPI. In practice, many other optimization methods can be applied to this proposed framework. We can choose the type of optimization with the desired constraints, depending on the problem of interest to create a closed loop system. For example, we can add the state or control chance constraints to covariance theory, or we can just use a simple pole placement method. The key idea is to use a closed loop system to sample MPPI trajectories. This concludes my presentation. Thank you.